Alright, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Disgaea 6 Defiance of Destiny. I'm a huge fan of the Disgaea series. I played, uh, I guess I did a full series on Disgaea uh, 5, and then I actually haven't finished any of the other ones on camera or stream just because they're long games. That said, there's a reason why I'm probably going to finish this one. Apart from the fact that it's new and, uh, you know, I try to focus on like the newest releases, there's also an auto battle and an auto repeat function. So specifically, if I want to grind, as silly as it is, I can straight up just do auto battle on a stage and just let him go loose. Obviously, playing it manually will probably get me more EXP, but that seems like a decent way of kind of getting around some of the grind, at least for the basic stuff. I'd have to try for some of the harder areas. Anyway, uh, with that said, let's get rolling. Also, thank you, Nippon HG Software, for sending me a copy of this. That's a chunky dude. The emergence of a new god of destruction, the strongest ever recorded, carries death and disaster in its wake. It appears out of nowhere, with no discernible pattern or reason for its atrocities. Countless worlds and innumerable demons have been reduced to nothingness by its sheer power. None can oppose this god of destruction. Nothing exists that it cannot destroy. However, no one yet knows that this god of destruction has already been defeated. Hey Cerberus, this is the place, right? A zombie boy with a piercing gaze appears to be more than meets the eye. Zed, zombie. Yep, no doubt about it. I can smell it in the air. This place reeks of concentrated magic power. Cerberus, classification zombie dog. Zed's companion, bad at fighting, but makes up for it everywhere else. <laughs> you serious? I can't imagine you'd be able to sniff anything out with that rotten nose of yours. Hey, you're rotten too, you know. Damn, there are guards at the gate. Guess they beefed up security with all the bigwigs at this darkest assembly. Zed and Cerberus were surrounded by extraordinarily powerful guards. Estimated magic level 999. Aren't you let us in? It's awfully rude to stop the guests of honor. You're wasting your breath, as bad as it is. We just gotta plow right through! Forcing your way in, headlong into danger. You're as hot-blooded as ever. Huh, I don't even have blood, being a zombie and all. That's not how jiggle physics works. <laughs> now, Zed, has that rotten brain of yours forgotten how to fight? Or do you still remember your roots? I remember. Oh, thank you. Don't treat me like an idiot. Of course I remember, you dumb mutt. Oh, I suppose a zombie is still a zombie, rotten as you may be. Good to know you haven't forgotten how to fight. I'll just sit back and watch this show in that case. Alright, I was unsure when I first saw this. The... Transition to 3D, I think, is actually going to be pretty kind to the Disgaea series. These look really nice. The the cel-shaded models with uh, limited use of line. I mean, pretty much no no use of line. I could use it a little bit here on this, like, dragon's arms, for example. There's some, like, layering issues where it gets kind of indistinct. But, like, who cares? I don't. I It looks great. We're very high level. This is going to go poorly for us. What abilities do we have? Thunder Punch, uh, let's see, and Lightning Strike. Not the most useful given the situation. So I think I'm just gonna roll up and smack her. Oh, right. How do I... Execute, there we go. It's been a long time since I've played a Disgaea, Disgaea game. What is it, two years? Two years. I don't know. Some of the nuance... Uh, is easy to miss. Not too much. Boy, they really beefed up the numbers on this one. It looks nice, though. You know, just 51 million. Like, there's not a whole lot of... There's no lack of clarity on that. Alright. How do I... Y to move? There we go. Wait. I'm hitting three things. I think? Oh! Wait, I'm actually hitting margin for error? Really? 
Huh. It says side attack. Oh, right, right, right. Also, the special moves look really good in 3D. I'm just I'm just kind of observing at this point. I don't know. I'm I'm really digging this. I had some concerns. I always have some wow. All right. Just death and destruction. I always have some concerns when, you know, my favorite favorite titles get a uh, you know, get changed in some way. Uh, so usually the transition from like 2D to 3D is always kind of spooky for me. Uh, I grew up in the era where a lot of games could cope you know, like, the N64 era had a lot of 3D games, but none of them were really pushing the boundaries, so they didn't have to worry about art styles or anything like that. I mean, obviously, like, things did look kind of garbage. But then, like, starting to go to the GameCube or the Wii era... <laughs> These are the best they could get to guard the Darkest Assembly? They're nothing special. Just to finish I think the... you've just gotten way too strong, Zed. Okay. To finish my thought, uh, I was just going to say, like, a lot of my favorite studios just could not cope with the transition to, like, full HD, 3D, and so on and so forth. And a lot of them just shut down. I think it's also uh, a residual of, I don't like how modern Fire Emblem games look. Like, the character models and, char like, the character art looks great, but the environments look really bad. And so, uh, so this is kind of more of what I was hoping Fire Emblem would end up doing with their style, instead of this kind of, like, weird, like, good character models and then this weird, like, hyper-realistic uh, environments. More stylization is always welcome. Anyway. But, you know, you've really changed. Not that long ago, you were all, <laughs> Die, die, die! Or, stupid dumbass, it's your own damn fault for losing! You really were a foul-mouthed little brat. Huh? I've got no idea what you're talking about. My brain's so rotten, I already forgot. It's almost like you overcame some kind of life-changing tragedy. Can it, you damn mutt? Ever heard of not being an asshole? You should try it sometime. Ah, my mistake. Anyway, look! There it is. The Darkest Assembly. Huh! Is there still no information on the whereabouts of the new God of Destruction? Overlord Ivar. Self-proclaimed strongest and most important overlord of the universe. Sounds pretty weak it's to me. It's been several days since it was last sighted. It's never gone this long without destroying anything. Where did it go? What is it up to? Want me to tell you? Huh? Who do you think you are? Can't you see we're in the middle of the darkest assembly? My word! What in Hades' name are those worthless guards doing? Letting such a disheveled zombie wander in here. Oh, those guys are out like a light. Probably enjoying a good old nightmare right about now. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. As if the likes of you could ever take out those level 999 god. A fluster demon rushed up to the overlord, Ivar, and whispered something into his ear. What? All of the guards? Taken out? You... Just who or what are you exactly? Well, you know that god of destruction you're so worried about? You can relax. I defeated it. What? You, a worthless zombie, defeated that god of destruction? <laughs> Do you really expect me to believe that some nobody like you could defeat the strongest one ever? Yeah, well, this nobody just defeated your level 999 guards. How do you explain that? You obviously had some sort of trick up your sleeve. Leave it to rabble to resort to nefarious means. 
I, Overlord Ivar, along with the demons who have gathered at this darkest assembly, will expose your lies! Should it become evident that your claim of defeating the God of Destruction is a lie, you will immediately be put to death. You are going to execute me? <laughs> what a joke. How dare you! For a pathetic zombie, you're quite full of yourself. Right. I am just a zombie. And you're about to find out how this pathetic zombie managed to defeat the strongest god of destruction. So listen up. Huh. Episode 1. The Dramaturgy of Reincarnation. I don't like Ivar's voice actor. He he acts well, but his voice doesn't feel right. Zed. Zed. Hey, how much longer are you planning on sleeping? Come on, rise and shine, Zed. <sighs> You're finally up, lucky you. I was about to take a leak on your face. No, scratch that, I feel a dump coming on. Ugh, that's disgusting, you damn dirty mutt! Can't you find a normal way to wake someone up? I already tried kicking you, gnawing on you, reheating you, even dicing and grating you, but nothing worked. Just what do you think I am? A rotten slab of meat. Takes one to know one. Whatever. So, where is that thing? Where else? In the middle of destroying stuff. Now this area is just a lawless zone full of rampaging demons. That's so? All right. Let's go take it down. Hold on, Zed. You're about to fight the strongest known god of destruction. You better get prepared first. Welcome, Zed, to the fourth dimensional netherworld. Fourth Dimensional Netherworld? That's what I said, and this place will serve as a secret base of sorts on our quest to defeat the God of Destruction. I'll explain it in its entirety over time, but for now, I'll just unlock the general store to start. It'll prove indispensable to t in taking down the God of Destruction. Make sure to buy equipment for your allies as well. Ha! <laughs> allies? Ain't got any. I don't need them either. I'm afraid I can't agree with that. I've taken the liberty of mustering up a few based on my subjective arbitrary biases. Like I asked. No complaining. We must take any and every step we can to defeat the God of Destruction. And once you're prepared, your next stop will be the battlefield. The dimensional guide can show you the way. So gear up at the general store, then get to the next fight from the dimensional... Oh. So gear up from the general store, and then get to the next fight from the dimensional guide? Got it. How many times does this make that we've faced the God of Destruction? A million? More, perhaps? Beats me! Who bothers keeping track of how many times they die? Well, there was that one time you ran off for the God of Destruction before face-planting dead into the ground. Did I really? I don't remember that. Then there was the time we lost when the God of Destruction coughed on us. Who would expect it to get blown so far by a light hack? Not us, evidently. Doesn't ring a bell. Besides, that's all in the past for me anyway. Then the time after that. It was a sneeze. And the time after that... Hey! Reminisce all you want, but don't even think about bringing up the fart, you hear me? My bad, my bad. Just a slip of the tongue is all. Wait a minute. So you do remember the fart, then? How could I not? That gas cloud seared itself right into my rotten brain. Even now it haunts my dreams. Ugh. My condolences. Still, compared to back then, you've grown so much I can hardly recognize you. Damn straight, I don't give a crap why or how many times I've ended up losing. As long as I beat that thing in the end, that's what counts, and until I do, I'll rise and fall as many times as it, as it takes. Is this guy, like, stuck in a time loop or something? Welcome to the Rosen Queen okay, weapons, armor. Oh, is the general store just everything now? Guess so. 
Well, at least this music's still the same. Uh, the real question is... Oh, I like the style on this. Okay, so we're level 1 with crazy stats just to begin with. Uh, let's see, Zen. What I want to see is... No. Switch details. Okay. Oh, did they get rid of, uh... Did they get rid of weapon... Preferences. Previously, certain characters would have different levels of... Like, favored weapons. So, for example... I think Laharl was good with swords and fists, and like Etna was axes, and it would just be an option. Um, yeah, set auto battle group. I'm really curious about some of these things. Anyway, I want to see Super Reincarnator. Increased damage dealt by 1% per Super Reincarnation. Max 200%. Okay. Can I rename this guy? Please tell me I can. <laughs> I still love the fact that the the priests are are dudes. Okay. So I think this is all the stuff. Yeah, I guess I could just use whatever weapon we want. Welcome to the Rosen Queen Country. Thing is, I'm not sure how much I care right now. We're early game. I only have, like, 500 hell. Yeah, what weapons do I prefer? I'm kind of big on... Gloves are usually pretty good. Swords can be decent. Actually, spears come with defense. Yeah, because axes do great damage. The main problem is just the loss of hit and speed it can get kind of stinky. Don't want to roll spear for once. Because we'll be I usually roll, I think, fist or sword or axe, like right off the bat. The problem I generally had with axes, from what I remember. Oh. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no, here we go. Weapon, weapon mastery. Dang. So there is Weapon Mastery, I just had to check this section. So, favors, fists, swords, kind of spears, kind of axes. And then everybody else is just whatever the hell. I will give him his fist back. It's fine. Oh, uh, equipment. I guess I might as well get him some armor. I'm not gonna care too much. I'm more at the beginning of the game. Like, every... Everything scales wildly out of control pretty quick anyway. Okay. Pot lid? I'm just gonna buy a bunch of pot lids. Thank you very much. Cause I think the characters come with decent decent ish equipment. Maybe. We'll find out. But I figure if I just tank them up a little bit. It hurts my resistance. Oh, my stats are so dang high that maybe th maybe none of this matters right now. Okay, that'll do. But yeah, I think my stats are so overinflated that it doesn't matter. Uh, let's see. Other things to check. Quests. Interesting. Were there quests in the previous one? There kind of were. Anyway, here's the other thing. Pathetic demon rabble, you did well to come. Before you, you is the site where downloaded content comes into being. Acquiring such power can be futile without a way to put it to use after all. Now, unleash the dark force slumbering within you and forge your way forth as the conqueror of the netherworld. Well, alright. View DLC. Okay, so we have to... Clear certain levels to get these characters. Unfortunately, I get the very distinct feeling that um, I'm going to have to go through a lot of effort just to get them. Uh, let's see. Bonus unlockable by purchasing a season pass. Cripes. Let's apply DLC. There we go. Okay. 
I guess I might as well grab them. Unfortunately, I have to do the levels first, I think. During the stage Overlord's Recital. I will probably leave this for later. Come again, yeah. Okay. They're like, oh, maybe I have to talk to them. Need something? Or maybe it's just on the world now. I don't know. I see portals behind him. Either that or they won't let me do it until after we, we do the first couple of missions. It'd just be <laughs> real funny to go way out of my way, get access to a bunch of DLC characters like before we even start, and then power through. But anyway, I'm the keeper of the dimensional gate. By linking with super with the super reincarnation process, it can send you across space and time to whatever location you wish. Now, please select your desired destination. Pretty world. Ah. So, this is where I could specifically get at them. We'll leave that for later. For now, pretty world. That's it, Wasteland. Ugh. Hey, can you lend me a hand, dude? Not on your life. You didn't even hesitate, dude! Can't you at least hear me out first? What an annoying penguin. I don't give a crap about your problems. I'm not a penguin. I'm a prinny, dude. Allow us to explain. Prinnies are the peons of the netherworld. Each of them contains the soul of a sinful human. Together, prinnies and zombies form the bottom rung in the netherworld. So? What's a prinny want from me? Hmm, I guess it has something to do with all the demons that started rioting when the God of Destruction showed up. Th that's absolutely right, dude! <laughs> Same as always. Same as always? Uh, who exactly are you guys, dude? These guys... Right. Witnessing the God of Destruction's immense power drove these demons mad. Here we go again. I don't care who they are. If they stand in our way, I'll kill them! Ah, oh, one moment, Zed. Out of curiosity, do you happen to have a plan by chance? Nope, I'm just gonna send anyone that gets in my way flying. That's all the plan I need. I thought so. If that's the case, you'll end up being torn apart, limb from limb like always. Eh, whatever, I'm a zombie. It's not like I'm... not used to it. Enough with the tough act, Zed. In order to achieve victory, you must coordinate with your allies. Coordinate with my allies? Yes, having all allies will allow you to pull off te team attacks and combos whenever you want. Increasing your tactical options. Huh. Team attacks and combos, huh? Okay. Learn about them? No. You talk way too much. Get close and whack him. That's all the info I need. Huh. In that case, let's see what you've got. Okay. I don't actually remember the specifics on those, but I also don't care. I know, like, having multiple allies in the area lets you pull off a team attack. Uh, let's see. Anyway, we might as well just pull them all out. I know you can also, like, stack characters on top of each other and, like, swing them at each other, but... I don't remember. Okay. Move here. So if I do attack... I just do that. Does it not... Hmm. Maybe I should have seen the explanation. It used to just automatically work. Uh, let's see. Defend, equip, status. Well, I don't see anything, so I'm just going to hit him and we'll just see what happens. Uh... Uh, let's see. What else do we got? Ow. Okay, so she does damage. Yeah, let's just body this guy. There we go. Ow. 
Okay. So I think I think the numbers are just like ridiculously inflated right from the get go. I know that was one of the big selling points of this game. Uh that uh that Disgaea six was gonna have just like ridiculous numbers and like a higher level cap and a bunch of other things. I guess I'm fine with it, but it's one of those where uh I kinda miss starting a level one with like level one style stats. And then moving my way up to ridiculous numbers. Though honestly, like, you straight up could just flatten the Disgaea equipment curve. And and leveling curve. Like just just get rid of uh just make all the stats even and just keep all the characters at the same level. And ultimately, I think the game experience wouldn't change too much apart from big number. But then again, big number is pretty satisfying. Wow, there's a lot of levels right off the bat. <laughs> Everyone who tries to stand in my way is going to get beaten to a pulp. Y you're so strong. The zombies aren't supposed to be this powerful, dude. Huh, what's the big deal? After all, compared to the God of Destruction, these guys are garbage. Um, you're falling apart at the seams. Are you sure you're okay, dude? Huh? Ah, don't sweat the small stuff. You definitely aren't normal, dude. Word said, the Netherworld Hospital is now available for use. I'll be upfront about this. N in no way is any manner of medical treatment or care handled there. It's not? What the hell kind of hospital is it supposed to be then? Well, that's for you to find out. <laughs> oh, here to claim your prizes? Welcome to the hospital. Don't let the name fool you. We don't do much treatment here. Think of it more as a prize exchange where you can earn amazing rewards for how much HP and SP you exhaust in battle. Why do you get prizes for that, you ask? Well, it is the netherworld. Use your imagination. So, do we just automatically... Yeah, so we automatically heal no matter what. It looks like. Uh, after every single battle, everybody goes back up to full health. The main difference is that... Uh... You know what? I like that. That's a good, that's a good change of pace. It feels very apropos. Because I never really liked the whole, like, oh, you have to pay for healing thing. It just felt kind of, eh. Where do you wish to go? Alright, select your destination. Okay, Wasteland Cliff. I'll do the DLC stuff later. Maybe after we finish the first chapter or something. But those, they might be scaled to be kind of hard. Ah, uh, from the way those enemies are positioned, I'd say it's time to lift and throw. Oh, huh, what's that? Don't tell me you've forgotten... That as well. It's in the name, Zed. Did you forget how to lift and... Oh, shoot. Well, I can skip it. Perfect. I know how to lift and throw. Alright, let's take a look at this. So we gotta get up top. We got enemies there. We can go up the left. Oh, those are weird tents. That's what... I got it. Okay. Okay. I want to throw. And then we want to... Now I could do that with Zed, but I'm thinking... Homer. There. Wait, no. thing I never liked about these games is that they don't quite work with the d-pad the way I'd like to. Okay, let's move Homer here. And then Zed. Okay, now from Lucky, lift Zed, throw Zed. Can't get him that far, but I can get him farther than previously. Oh, I might have actually been able to daisy chain these characters. Nope, never. Well, yes, kind of. Okay. 
I'm just going to toss him next to the treasure. He can get that next round. There we go. Yeah, so I could have actually gotten Zed up closer to the enemies faster, but it is what it is. Oh, and my enemies just don't even care. There we go. I have no idea how I, I played this game so smoothly when I was on the PS. Oh, I should probably play this with the uh, the regular Switch controllers, not the Pro one. I don't like the D-pad on the Pro controller that much. Like, it, it doesn't actually feel that good. Wait, why am I defending? Defending is for chumps. I guess it works if you have a bunch of counterattacks stocked up, I think? I forgot. I forgot the rules of defending. I'm, I almost never do it. Okay, and I can't do anything. We're just gonna execute. Uh, I should have probably just done end turn. We got rubber gloves. Oh, sweet. Now we can handle a Pikachu. I That's been stuck in my head for years. Just the, like, ridiculous shit that Team Rocket would do. To, like, just touch Pikachu. Counter, counter. But here's the question. Do we get a counter counter? Yes! Counter counter counter. It's absolute nonsense. I love it. Alright. Special heal. Oh. I guess we don't have the range on it yet. And yeah, I can skip conditions, auto battle. Let's just, uh, I'm just going to see how it works. I mean, obviously it looks like my guys are just going to run forward. Uh, my thing is, like, I might as well turn on auto battle when it's easy. Because it's so much faster. That's always going to be something I get kind of stuck on when it comes to these games, is that, like, the speed of tactical RPGs can get really <laughs> frustrating. I'll kill anyone who gets in my way. I'm starting to get the feeling that Zed might be far more dangerous than the God of Destruction, dude. It may surprise you, seeing as how that brat is on a murderous rampage, but he used to be a weak, kind-hearted zombie. Seriously? I find that hard to believe, dude. It's true. However, after endless battles of extreme proportions, Zed's heart has changed. We're gonna just do another flashback? There's no way. Wait, yes, maybe? A word, Zed, and the Dark Assembly is now available for use. It's a uh, process by which dreams are legislated into being. The desire for more allies, for instance, can be granted by selecting the Create New Character proposal. Feel free to make as many as you please. We can never be too strong in battle, after all. More allies, huh? I never needed one, but against the God of Destruction, I'll take whatever help I can get. Alright then, let's give this Dark Assembly thing a try. Okay, looks like we also have the Cheat Shop. I guess I actually have to get close. You can rebalance the Cheating, playing here. dirty. Both are equivalent to compliments for demons. Welcome to the cheat shop. You may adjust the netherworld settings to your liking here. Cheating is forbidden in the human world, but widely accepted in the netherworlds. Therefore, cheat as much as you see fit. Yeah, so we don't have any cheat, uh, cheat levels yet. Kind of? I mean, we do. I don't actually want to turn any of these up currently. Up or down? See you again. Anyway, Kraf! Welcome. Always an honor to have you. This is the Dark Assembly, a chamber in which the dream in which dreams become legislation. One can say that a mastery of the parliamentary process is key to becoming a full-fledged demon. However, whether or not a proposal will pass depends entirely on the whims of the senators. But in the end, demons are still demons. A few bribes to the right senators should grease the vote a bit in your favor. With that, the Dark Assembly is now in session. Why not expand your coterie with a create new character build to start? Okay, delete a character, change colors, better items in the store, change controllable character. Oh, fun. Okay, so we can make another warrior, red mage, priest, martial artist. We don't have a whole lot of options here. 
name. Irvin George Silky Smooth Skin. Yes. And... Unlock capability. Interesting. Oh, and we can spend karma on this. Interesting. I care not. Okay. Oh, are these... Go with that one. And Fury Fatalist Color. This will be fine. Alright, there we go. Is that it? We good? Is there anything else back here? This place is bigger than I thought. Generally, I prefer having all of these things on one screen, but you know what? Whatever. Okay. Still doesn't look like we have too much to deal with here, so let's... I'm just gonna keep rolling. This is to the dimensional gate. Alright. Scorch Plains. I might mess around with some auto-battling, just to... just for especially the basic stages. Definitely not when we have Geo... Geo Pyramids, though. What the heck are these? They're so colorful. I still have to explain Geo effects to you as well. Nope. I'll just do whatever. Kind of annoying to remember everything. Huh. Well, it does sound like you. Alright, I suppose it's fine. Try destroying the Geo symbol, then. Since you like seeing what happens so much, I'll leave it up to you to figure it out. Alright. Oh, no! We just had auto battle on from the beginning. Um, what are we going to do retry without auto battle on? I don't know if auto battle at all takes uh, geo symbols into effect. Looks like it's finally time. Okay. So, we got to get everything, I think, just on on green. Or not on green. Everything on blue. Uh, let's see. Zed. Throw Zed here. Zed. Nope. Not special. Lift. Okay, we want to throw that over there. Zed might get clobbered by this, but you know what? Is what it is. Okay, I think this will work. Oh, she doesn't have the speed. What about Silky Smooth Skin? There we go. And if I'm lucky, we can just have Ava handle this the rest of the way. Special energy potion. Wrap yourself in a magic that restores SP every turn. Oh! That's cool. Anyway, I should be able to maybe kill it? Okay, so what they should do is turn blue into green, then green into red, and then pop everything. I could be wrong. It's also going to hit Zed, but you know what? Whatever. Zed can take it. Plus, this is why I got other party members. Well, I certainly appreciate the speed on that. I know there's, like, a way more, like, finesse way to do handle that sort of thing, but I am lazy. Alright, and then the auto battle on. I could do other things, but it's just like, I don't know, they're trash mobs that I've already done a ton of damage to. What's the point of actually fighting them normally? I This is going to be one of my favorite features uh, to come out of a lot of modern RPGs, I think, is just the auto battle mode. Oh, you can actually do a combo attack, but with Thunder Rush. Maybe. In the past, you wouldn't, you couldn't actually do like team combo whatever stuff with, uh... If you're using a special move. So it's kind of a trade-off, but it looks like they've just done away with that. 
Cripes. All right. Sure. And we get everything. Hooray. Zed, don't you think you've warmed up enough with all that fighting? <laughs> I'm a zombie. Our bodies don't get warm. But that was definitely good practice for the God of Destruction. Uh, hey, Zed. Are you seriously planning to fight the God of Destruction, dude? Mm, of course. That's the only reason I came to this netherworld. Have you lost your mind, dude? No matter how strong you may be, fighting that God of Destruction is insane. It's the strongest one in recorded history. It just shows up in every world and lays out total destruction, dude. Do you even know how many famous demon lords and overlords have challenged it? Only to be defeated, dude? Shut up. I'm gonna take it down, no matter what. Zed, aren't you afraid of dying, dude? Well, I am a zombie. Dying is pretty much what we do. This guy is no ordinary zombie. Maybe if I stick with him, I could get really strong too, dude! Um, dude! What? Please, let me be one of your vassals, dude! Not on your life. You didn't hesitate this time either! Come on, don't say that! Please, dude! We printies are really handy, you know! We can cook, clean, do the laundry. You can even make us run errands, dude! If you accept my offer right now, I'll even throw in a year's supply of premium expired sardines, dude! Why would I want something like that? Come on, Zed. Let the Prinny be your vassal. You'll do whatever it takes to defeat this god of destruction, right? Well, when it comes down to it, I'm sure you'll need the help of some companions, too. Fine, whatever. But if you don't pull your weight, you're getting tossed. Got it, dude. <laughs> Thanks a bunch, Zed. You've gained a pretty vassal. Award Zed, the skill shop is now available for use. The skill shop allows you to enhance your special skills as well as learn new evilties. So what you mean is this skill shop thing will give me more power, right? The hell am I waiting for then? It does seem like they're just kind of chucking everything at me pretty quickly. I appreciate it. Okay. Got mana's demo gift. Okay. So, we can specifically level up Thunder Rush, which makes it so it uh, does more power or does more damage but costs a little bit more SP. It's an option. Um, learn Evil Tea. These are usually what I want to do. So, extra damage when using Fist, that's pretty big actually. Uh, let's see, Vaccine, so just avoid. Oh, just not getting hit by status effects. That actually could be useful. Resistances. It's the increase of healing specials on self by 25%. Increase evasion by 10% if this unit is a flat chested female. <laughs> Shell's on the couch next to me and just looks over <laughs> the moment I said that. Uh. less volume to hit. <laughs> I, I've i always had a little bit of trouble with some NIS games because they tend to be a little bit more on the, like, pervy but not, like, egregiously pervy side. Uh, I don't know. It It's always kind of a give and take. I've had to quit a number of their games in the past because there were just... There were some moments that I was just like, no, I actually cannot support this in a video game. Uh, but oh well. Increases recovery effect in mint gum by 10,000%, though it won't become ABC gum. And change the system sounds to this unit's voice when controlling them in the base. Interesting. But now let's just get Power Knuckle. Okay. It looks like... 
It looks like everybody has the same ones. Except for maybe the printy. Nope, even the printy. Huh. Uh, let's see. Convert unneeded evil teas in mana. Create mana... Uh, use mana to create a secret scroll from learned evil teas. Interesting. So I can potentially turn that into a scroll? Okay. I want to know about secret scrolls. You can use mana to turn an evil tea into a secret scroll. Doing so allows you to have a different character learn that evil tea. So if you're ever like, man, if only I had this guy's evil tea, check your mana and consider making it a secret scroll. Okay, so chances are the really busted ones get kind of expensive. Your skills here. But maybe also unique evil teas cannot be converted. I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter. Hello. By the way, where even is this place, dude? This is a pocket netherworld I created in the fourth dimension. From here, we can travel wherever we want, whenever we want. You could call it a base of sorts. How... How a mutt like you manages to pull off crap like this, I'll never get. That's amazing, dude! Seriously, you're just like the hellhound of legend! Oh, this is hardly anything, really. I may be a canine now, but my past self was a sage of some repute, I'll have you know. So now I've got a mutt and a penguin, huh? Well, it's like I'm running a zoo in here or something. Don't even think about charging a mission for us. You can find your battle funds elsewhere. Yeah, we're not your public exhibition material, dude. Chill out. I wasn't even thinking about that at all. I mean, seriously, who the hell would even bother paying to see you? Excuse me, are you trying to say that we don't have any appeal? Take it back! Me and Cerberus would bring in the hell like no one's business, dude! <laughs> what? Now you want to get put on display? Make up your damn minds already. Ah, it's charming. I don't know. Disgaea games are like comfort food to me. Alright. Last level of chapter one? Hopefully, Fissure Hill. Hmm, the God of Destruction finally decided to show up. Hey, Prinny! Looks like you get to regret becoming my vassal already! Damn. It actually looks really cool in 3D. God of destruction. It's been a long road, but our fight ends here, today. Here we go! The final battle! Okay. I should probably... Let's see. Can these guys move? Might as well do Sanctuary. Oh, there's a unique uh, scene, I guess, for every special. That's kind of neat. I don't know why that character has moved to the front, but that's okay. Oh boy, this pretty barely moves. <laughs> Holy shit, that's a problem. Anyway. Here's the other question. He's level 99. Eh, that's actually kind of within the realm of possibility given what I've got. Okay, end turn. Because, yeah, no way I'm going to be able to get close to him. Ow. That's fine. Hello, special heal. I might actually want to get another healer at some point. Okay, let's move. Oh, no, he big. He real big. He he actually, yeah, he takes up a larger s space than normal. I love that. That's a that's a really nice change of pace. 
Okay, special boulder crush. Special triple strike. Special printing barrage. I know hitting from the side, I think, does more damage. There we go. Whale on him. I don't think we're going to do nearly enough damage, though. <sighs> I frankly, I might have to grind. I was hoping I could just, like, cruise right through. Maybe we'll be okay. I mean, luckily, grinding is pretty easy. Especially with the auto battle options. Like, what I probably do is just do... Well, yeah, what I probably do is just the geo battle one a couple of times. Oh, right, combo is just chaining multiple attacks together at once for the, the multiplier. I got it. And then team attack is when you have multiple teammates as part of it. I didn't quite remember which was which. Okay, this suddenly got rough. I don't know. We might get it. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. But apparently he does an AoE just punch. Okay, we're good. <laughs> we just kill him with the counterattack. So we did. <laughs> Dang, you level fast in this. I I like it though. Ah! I, I knew this was impossible, dude. Go ahead and run if you want. But just so you know, Zed hasn't given up yet. These are just flesh wounds. They don't hurt a bit. Zed! Is he really gonna keep fighting, dude? How is he even standing with all those wounds, dude? Zed has his own reasons for fighting. That's why, even if he dies, he'll never give up. He does? Why would he push himself so far, dude? The God of Destruction attacked. Zed intercepted the hit meant for the printing, taking 999,999,999 damage. Uh! Zed! You took that hit from me, dude! Don't get the wrong idea. This rotten body of mine just acted on its own. I can't afford to lose. I gotta get stronger. 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 Stronger! Oh god, they gave the Cerberus both nuts and a butthole. Yay. I sure as hell ain't given up. Aw. Probably sister. Very cute. Zed has died. Game over. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you on, uh, well, Disguise 7, probably, unless I go back to one of the I old see. games. So you fought the God of Destruction and suffered a crushing defeat. Wait a minute! You lost?! Hmm. Only you would have such a sharp eye for detail, Overlord Ivar. Yes, well, of course. Uh, wait a minute! You can't fool me with your compliments! You fought the strongest god of destruction head-on? Risked your life for a prinny? This is nonsense. And to top it all off, you didn't even defeat the god of destruction! You wretched liar! I'm not lying. 
There's no use trying to get out of it. Your lies have been proven. I shall put you to death on this very spot. Huh? Wait a moment. You said you were killed by the God of Destruction. But then how are you alive right now? <laughs> Looks like you finally realized. Ah, I see. Now I get it. This can only mean... You're a ghost, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> the big old evil spirit! Rest in peace! Rest in peace! <laughs> <sighs> Dumbass. Huh? That's not it? Then how, may I ask, are you still alive at this very moment? Overlord Ivar, it seems you may not be aware, but there exists a spell that can supersede even death. What did you say? A spell that supersedes death? Yeah, that's right. It's called Super Reincarnation. Well, this is goofy. But it's also Disgaea. We learned the evil to defy the strong. And we might as well save, because I haven't actually sa saved yet. It auto-saves all the time, though, so I don't have to worry too much. Previously on Disgaea 6, Super Reincarnated Zed and Company found themselves in a brand new world! The year was 666X, and the netherworld was shrouded in atomic flames! Remember, kids, it's not cool to play with fire! The curtain rose for the battle between Zed Heir of the ultimate demon technique, and Ivar, overlord of the century's end. Didn't I just say it's not cool to play with fire? Shut up and get flame! <laughs> Stop that! Didn't anyone ever teach you it's rude to flamethrow people? Zed emerged from the heated battle victorious. He then lived happily ever after with his little sister, the end. I lived my life without a single regret. Huh? Wait, did he even have a little sister? And not a single piece of Ivar remained. The wheels of reincarnation never stop, and thus a new story begins. I hope Ivar becomes a party Get up, member. Zed. The super reincarnation process is almost finished. How many tens of thousands of times have we done this now? Damn. It seems like it's still not enough. Your opponent's the strongest god of destruction to ever exist. You can't expect to defeat it that easily. If you don't like super reincarnating, then get stronger and defeat it already. After that, you'll be done. <sighs> All right, I get it. This world is pretty flashy. I never could have imagined a place like this growing up in the graveyard. Hmm, this appears to be the human world. But... Oh, hero! How could you have fallen <laughs> like this? Huh? Who the hell are you? Oh, I want him as a party member. I am Mizador, king of the human world. And it's my duty to resurrect the hero whenever he or she falls in battle. King Mizador, classification king, the filthy rich king of the human world. Money makes the world go round. Please be a party member. Me? A hero? What the hell is this guy talking about? Hmm, I have heard rumors that the king of the human world has the special ability to resurrect heroes. Perhaps his ability resonated with your super reincarnation, bringing us to this world. That all sounds like gibberish to this rotten brain of mine. What are you mumbling about, O oh hero? There's no time for you to lie dead. You must defeat the God of Destruction! Defeat the God of Destruction, huh? I don't need you to tell me to do that. I'll fight it as many times as it takes! Wait! Where do you think you're going, oh hero? Shut up! I ain't no hero, damn it!
I just want us to pick up just the weirdest party members. I think we'll probably be able to recruit at least some of these people. But I just want the king because he looks silly as hell. Like I, I just want weird dad squad. Award Zed. You can now super reincarnate from the Dark Assembly. Currently, whenever you die the, to the God of Destruction, you automatically super reincarnate into a new world. As of now, however, I've added the ability to reincarnate whenever you like, without having to die. Oh yeah? Sounds pretty useful. Upon super reincarnating at the Dark Assembly, your level will be reset to 1. Wait, seriously? Moreover, your mana will reset to 0. <laughs> what a joke. However, your base stats will increase. In time, you'll be starting out strong enough to offset the drawbacks entirely. Furthermore, you'll obtain special points known as Karma according to the level at which you super reincarnated. With it, you can enhance a character's capability type or unlock potentials to further facilitate their growth. You don't say. I do say. By super reincarnating again and again, you can obtain power beyond your wildest imagination. Guess it's worth a try then. Off to the Dark Assembly. Okay, but for now... I... Uh, eh, this is a good stopping point. I'd, I'd, I'd talk to Sir, but... Nah. This video has gone <laughs> long enough. God, I'm swimming in JRPGs. It's a weird feeling. I Normally, I'm just like, man, I just... I don't really care about any of these releases. And then, like, this week slash month is just like, Hey, all of your favorite JRPGs are coming out. You should play them. I'm like, no! Why couldn't this have come out in March? Anyway, Disguise 6, I so far, incredibly positive. I want to see some more characters. They're kind of drip, drip... I guess they always kind of drip-feed the cast a little bit, but it feels like they're going to drip-feed it even more here just because we've pretty much only just seen uh, Zed and Cerberus. And, you know, I think the last couple of games usually drop at least three party members on you immediately in some way, shape, or form. It's fine, though. But a big plus on my end is the auto battle. Uh, you know, otherwise this seems like a very, very cut and dry Disgaea game. It looks like they might have also added some more mechanics to really facilitate the uh, the grind better. Uh, you know, the reincarnation with the karma point system. I don't remember the karma point system in Disgaea 5, but it has also been a very long time since I played that one. It's been like, what, four or five years? Uh, but it seems like there might be some interesting mechanics to really facilitate grinding over and over again, getting level back up, then using that to boost yourself endlessly. And I'm looking forward to seeing what else that they have added to this game. Uh, but just going back to the auto battle thing, that's going to be such a boon. Because unless I have to mess with Geo spaces, I really can just let them loose, let them fight. And there's even, I mean, straight up, I can, I can turn this on, actually. Okay. So we want to just go back to the pretty world. I'm going to try Fissure Hill, because I don't think it's going to be the God of Destruction this time. Yep, it's just a bunch of pretty, prinnies. So I can straight up just turn on auto battle, and these guys will just go out and fight. And I think I can actually turn up the speed, too. Is there a way to skip animations? I know there's a way to do it. I might have to check it in the settings. Unfortunately, we're just going to be sitting through a lot of them. Okay, I'm going to unpause it for a hot second. I'm going to try. Okay. Uh, let's see. Other settings. Auto... Auto on. Uh, turn that off for a hot second. We're going to turn on auto repeat. But I wanted to do... Here. Okay. So, effect speed. Speed up effects. I think you can also just turn it on further. Oh, I see. I have to hold those to speed that up. Isn't there straight up like a... Battle menu effects, auto battle on, auto repeat, battle group cursor, boost tickets. This should be fine. Alright. Now we turn it back on. Okay. Now if I just hold these. There we go. Now we're... So I have to hold the two, two triggers to actually go full speed. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like auto battle involves any level of... Uh, 
any level of healing, so I'm gonna have to just rely on my characters uh, to not be garbage. Maybe they'll heal, but you know what? Whatever. Doesn't matter. We've got this one in the bag. There's a lot of screaming, though. But this means to some degree what I can do is actually just walk off and let the game play itself while I grind. I've realized that to some degree that's kind of the antithesis of playing a game, like having one of these games as kind of this this idle game is is kind of the opposite of what it should be. At the same time, okay, I'm going to turn this off for like a hot second. Oh, okay. What I want to do is also go into the settings and we're going to just turn off event voice because that's going to get heinous. All right, there we go. But yeah, so I could just leave this running for however long I want, come back, and my characters will be considerably stronger. Which, I think for any other game, I'd be like, this is really boring, and why would this exist? But Disgaea games, I would say, are incremental games disguised as JRPGs, strategic JRPGs. And now that they've gone, like, full incremental, you know, auto battle mode, it actually feels pretty good to me. Because, yeah, I don't have to redo these missions over and over again. And that just is going to be so nice. I I mentioned that I've got, like, a whole bunch of different JRPGs on my plate this month. And this one went from high, uh, top of my list to absolute top of my list no matter what. Because I can cut out all of the stuff that I don't like from Disgaea. <laughs> as silly as it sounds, I can almost just turn off my TV and come back to this... Uh, later today and then get back to filming and then just power through the game uh, after a certain point I'll inevitably have to care You know that no matter no matter what when I play when you play Disgaea like you're gonna I can't just do this map like for 30 hours and expect to be max level by the end of it But at the same time I'd be able to reincarnate with a hell of a lot of bonus stats and some other things I Don't know. I just wanted to see this in action for a bit. So I, uh, with the, <laughs> with all of this out of the way, I love this game. Can't wait to play more of it. It'll be out in a couple of days, and I, I know it's going to be on the Switch, because that's what I'm playing it on. I know they, let's just check. Okay, the answer is, it's coming out on the Switch and the PS4. I was really hoping they'd also have a PC release, because I feel like PC is always the best way to do it. Um, for, like, RPGs like this, because then you can have, like, actual cheats just running on the side. Like, you know, an EXP multiplier, or a money multiplier, or something like that. I always like those. But, alas, no dice. Anywho, uh, so with all that said, I like this game. I'm going to play more of it. I'm looking forward to seeing where they go with the plot. And also, just, like, this is just going to be nicely casual from a... RPG grinding experience. So, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know, and if you want to see more, hit subscribe, because I really love... I really love the Disgaea games, and I just... I don't know. I would love to go back and play through every single one of them fully. And maybe I will. I might just pick my Disgaea 4 series back up again. I don't know about Disgaea 1 and 2, though. But, for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.